What's up, everybody? It's your favorite cousin, Devin with an E, coming at you with a, a little bit of a story time and a little bit of a message. Today, we're going to talk about, as you can see from the title, talking to your kids. You have to talk to your kids and you have to explain stuff because now in 2017, kids are learning things much earlier than previous times. Um, for example, my child, when he was six, he asked me, hey, mom, why would a little girl, well, I ain't gonna say a little girl, but you'll understand why I say little girl in a minute. He said, why would a girl wanna kiss a guy down there? And I'm like, Wait, wait, wait a minute, baby. You six. You six. What you know about that? So I said, what makes you think that a girl wants to kiss a guy or lick a guy down there? And he said, well, my friends at school, when we're at recess, they stand around and they point out which little girls they want to S their D. Wait a minute. S their D? So I'm a little shocked. But I'm not a little shocked. And I said, well, what's Esther D? You know, this is what he said, Esther D. I said, what's Esther D? He's like, you you know Esther D. And I'm in my mind, I'm thinking, wait a minute. You calling it a D? What about the word penis? Like, where you get a D from? Your D is a lowercase D. It ain't even an uppercase D. So what you talking about that D? So we had a little conversation about it. I didn't go into detail, detail. But I told him some stuff, you know, you'll find out when you get older and you know it's a quick little conversation but the point I'm trying to make is at six he knew what the terminology s their d was you know what I'm saying not not too um not too long after that conversation he started asking me about crack and cocaine and other kind of drugs and I'm looking like where are you getting this from but you they you have some kids who talk and they don't know the full everything about what they're talking about so it's up to you your responsibility as a parent to talk to your child so that they know about life know about experiences so when i was about 10 i went to this summer camp and this older girl she was like 15 16 maybe she said you're a virgin aren't you i didn't know what a virgin was <laughs> It's silly now, but I didn't know what a virgin was. So I was just like, um, well, um, you a virgin? <laughs> That's what I tried to do. I tried to flip the conversation. So she was like, yeah, you a virgin, you a virgin. So in my mind, I'm thinking like, well, shoot, what is virgin? What do I do? Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? So the whole way back to the church so we can have lunch, I'm thinking to myself, everybody's going to know I'm a virgin. And they're going to make fun of me. Or that might be a bad thing. It'll get back to my mom. I'm going to get in trouble. So when we got back to the church, I went in the bathroom. And I was in there trying to um, trying to figure out how I could save face. Trying to figure out if I could figure out with context clues what a virgin was. Well, by this time, 10 minutes passed, 15 minutes passed, 20 minutes passed. By this time, I'm crying. By this time, I'm crying. When I was a little girl, I used to think it was so embarrassing if people knew that you were in the bathroom boo-booing, right? So after all this time passed, I'm trying to tell myself, just go. Just go out the bathroom. You're just fine. Whatever happens, happens. But now I'm thinking, well, shoot. You've been in here so long, people don't think you've been in here boo-booing. Dang, now I got another. They're going to make fun of me for boo-booing. So now I'm crying because I'm a virgin or not. Now I'm crying because people think I'm in here boo-booing or not. So by this time, a girl walks in the bathroom. She's like 16, 17 years old. She sees me crying. She's like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And I couldn't say anything because I, I knew it was probably silly for me to be crying about whether or not I was a virgin. But I didn't know I didn't know what to say or how to say it. So I couldn't say anything. So, of course, you have an older girl walking into a bathroom with a younger girl crying. What's your first thought? She got her period. So now... <laughs> She's sitting up here trying to comfort me. She says, I'm going to go get the teacher. So in my head, I'm thinking, oh, shoot. 
I got three strikes against me. This teacher's gonna come in here and either say, you're a virgin, you in here boo-booing, or you got your period. I don't know what to say. So when the teacher comes in, she's like, what's going on, what's going on? I decide to just tell her the truth because I don't want her to think I got my period because then I would know she would have to tell my mom and then I have to tell my mom, no, that's not true. And I have to tell her what happened. So I just went ahead and told her. I don't know if I'm a virgin and this girl said I was and I don't know, I'm gonna get made fun of, whatever, whatever, whatever. Now in her mind, she was probably laughing. She was probably saying, if this little girl don't get out this bathroom with this foolishness. So she asked me, have you ever had sex? Do you do stuff with boys? And this whole time I'm like, oh, what, huh, what? She said, get your behind out there and sit down. Now, me being one of the younger kids, of course, now in hindsight, I know I was being silly, but um, she went out there and she said to everybody, this is what we won't do. We won't be telling little kids this, that, and the other, making fun of these younger kids and so on and so forth, and made a speech out of it. So, uh, at 10 years old back then, it probably wasn't necessary for me to know some things. At 10 years old now, in 2017, you need to take it upon yourself to educate your children, to make sure that they know at least the basics. I'm not telling them, I'm not telling you that you need to go into detail about things, but sometimes you just should ask them. Just ask them, hey, you know what this is? You know what this means? My son is 11 right now, and two weeks ago, I found out he knew what porn and what jacking off is. I'm still like shocked, like, oh my gosh, how do you know this? But it's 2017, he's 11, it's time for another conversation. You know what I'm saying? Listen, if you need advice, if you have any questions, comments, anything, comment down below or hit me up in my email, betty underscore boot 5001 at yahoo.com and subscribe. Subscribe and like this video. I love y'all so much. And I will see y'all at the next family reunion. You get it? Because I'm your favorite cousin, Devin Vinny. See you at the family reunion. Never mind. <laughs> love you.